So today I just wanted to talk a little bit about growing cucumbers. Now, cucumbers are one of my favourite early fruits to grow. So much easier to grow early cucumbers than it is to grow early tomatoes, for example. And I find, you know, the kids absolutely love them. I love them. We only now grow the mini varieties. And I want to just talk a little bit about the mini varieties before I show you around, because I think they're just best picked really small. I find that as they grow, they just become like overly juicy and the skins become a little bit tough. Whereas when you pick them kind of about almost like finger sort of size, they are just incredibly crunchy and they're a little bit drier. So they're not quite so juicy. And I, I really like them like that. So if you've not tried picking them really small, I highly recommend it. And the smaller you pick them, of course, the more the plant produces. So at the moment, I kind of estimate on about 10 fruits per week per plant. Not quite there yet with the ones that are indoors uh, in the conservatory. They're getting, I'm getting about 30 fruits from four plants, but that's kind of what I'd expect from the polytunnel plants. So you get a lot of fruits. The plants can become exhausted later on in the season, so it might be worth sowing two successions of them. Of course, I'm doing three successions of them because I've got the ones in the conservatory that are my earlies. I have tried a few times doing the late crops through sort of, you know, September, October, November time. They don't do as well, to be frank. And I don't think I'm going to do it in again because I just... I'll be growing them in the conservatory. I just don't like to be surrounded by plants that aren't thriving. Uh, you do get a kind of harvest off them, but it's nothing like 10 per plant. You know, it's down to something like two or three per plant. And as I say, the plants, they just, they just don't look as healthy. So I don't really now recommend a late crop unless you've got a really sunny conservatory, a south facing one in my case. Mine's kind of facing east. So um, I just don't get enough light for them. So let's start at the beginning, really, with cucumbers. They like it warm. They like it to be above 10 degrees centigrade all the time. They cope with lower light levels than tomatoes do because they've got so much leaf. They just put on loads of leaf, but they also fruit and they fruit prolifically. Whereas early tomatoes exposed to low light levels grow really big and the truss sizes are generally often quite small. The amount of fruit set you get is small. I always pick varieties that have all female flowers. So then you don't have to remove the male flowers. If you get varieties that have both, then you often have to remove the male flowers. Otherwise, your fruits will be bitter. For me, I just would never get around to picking off the male flowers. So it's all female varieties for me and I don't seem to lose out as a result. So a lot of people feed their cucumbers just the same way that they feed their tomatoes. And I generally do that when they're in the ground. When they're in containers, I just use a dedicated compu uh, computer, a dedicated cucumber feed, which is higher in nitrogen. And to mitigate that, lower nitrogen levels in the feed that I give my tomatoes um, that I also use for the cucumbers I just give them a kind of high nitrogen slow release feed in the ground at planting time and for that I'm using hoof and horn so that just kind of ups the nitrogen level for the whole of the growing season in a very slow release kind of fashion uh, and it means I can just use a tomato feed without kind of worrying about it. And since I'm watering tomatoes, you know, I don't have to mix up a special feed or anything like that. When it comes to planting time, I'm never in a rush to get my cucumbers out, as I say, because I've got the ones in the conservatory and they're in full production all the way through May. So there's no rush and that's good, as I said, because they like it warm and they also like it draft free. And so I would never consider starting them until the long range forecast shows effectively 10 degrees centigrade at night well out into the future. Now we do actually have a 9 degree centigrade night coming. I don't worry about that. It's not going to cause an issue. You just don't want lots of, you know, sort of five or six or something like that sort of temperatures. You know, the plants will probably survive, but they just won't thrive to the extent that you want them to. Uh, you know, you might get a 30% dip in yield or something like that, although I've got no experimental evidence to support that view. That's just observational. Let me show you around. So here are the cucumber plants 
in the polytool. I when I originally planted them about three weeks ago. It's the twenty fourth of May right now. Uh, I took off all the fruits. They've got a reasonable amount of leaf on them now, so I am leaving a few fruits on just so I can have something to snack on in the polytool, but I'm not leaving them all on because I want the plant to put most of its energy into growth. It's going to grow up this string and uh, then it's going to grow along here above this bench and kind of have the ability to drip down. These early tomatoes will be gone by then. Same story here. I should be growing that one up here, up its string, and then along here, and then up here, and across here, where it will kind of meet with the uh, other one. So I generally only grow indoor cucumbers. I find the yield is just amazing. And I really like these little ones. Uh, I think we picked about a hundred cucumbers so far this year. And I've got them up kind of out of the way in these troughs. You see that there? If you're interested in which troughs, then take a look in my Amazon shop, which is linked in the description. You can find a link in there to the ones that I buy and have two plants in each trough and they're sort of trailed all over the place in the conservatory. Another one here and right now I'm picking about 30 fruits a week something like that and these plants will get exhausted eventually but uh, for now they're still cranking them out and hopefully by the time they do get exhausted the ones in the on the allotment in the polyton will be ready. Obviously greedy plants, so I give them two of this little watering can every day. So one in the morning, one in the evening, and they're actually in Dale Fort uh, tomato compost, which it claims you don't need to add additional feed to. But I think you know when you've got a plant cranking out as much fruit as this you really do need that and tomato food is not ideal for cucumbers they need a bit more nitrogen so every about 10 days i think at the moment i'm giving them uh, a dose one one of these uh, little watering cans full of nitrogen fertilizer and i can't remember the one i'm using at the moment so i'll put the, i'll put it up and uh, yeah, just at the dilution level that it says on the packet. So that is pretty much it. I'll just put the uh, details of the varieties and things that I'm growing. So you can see those and the planting dates and all of that. Yeah, I love it. And we have tried late cucumbers in here uh, for harvest in uh, October, November time. And you know, they sometimes they do better than other times, but generally speaking, you know, they're nowhere near as prolific. And so I'm not going to do them anymore now, but I have got videos on how to do it if you're really, really keen on cucumbers. But I've eaten so many cucumbers between April and October, <laughs> I don't really want them anymore. Uh, I'll have a rest and have something else in my salad. So if you want more information on growing cucumbers, best place to start is my individual growing guide, part of my ebook, which is linked in the description below. So find the individual growing guide section in the contents list and then scroll down to cucumbers. And here you'll find details of all of the successions of cucumbers that I sow and the ones that I recommend. As I mentioned, I don't really recommend late ones now. Um, I recommended varieties, how to sow, plant, look after, prune, harvest, etc, etc. And uh, yeah, so all the information you need and lots more videos. So I hope you like this quick video all about cucumbers. My name's Steve, this is the Seaside Kitchen Garden and Allotment Channel and I'll see you soon.